I sat down with Infinite Closure in his home here in Burlington. We talked about his criminal record and what this means for his campaign. I didn't come with drugs in my pocket. <laughs> you know, I, I came. I, you know, I came here with you know with nothing. I actually. Hours after we heard independent mayoral candidate Infinite Closure speaking at Burlington's Progressive Caucus, court documents were sent to our newsroom. Closure. Then 18 years old, going by his birth name, Percy, was listed in a drug bust case. I did, um, you know, uh, eventually sort of c compromise my integrity, you know, you know, to make money, you know, because I thought I needed to do that to survive. Now 44 years old, the candidate tells me his past is helping to shape his political platform. I can relate to you know, the, the people who are, are struggling in our community, you know, more so than any of the other candidates in this race. In the early 90s, he served two and a half years behind bars in New York. In 1999, Cookleasure was locked up again, this time for three and a half years in Pennsylvania. In both cases, it was for conspiracy to distribute cocaine. One of the, you know, the earliest experiences for me was, you know, that strangers would come up to me and ask for drugs. You know, like, or if I knew where they could find drugs. Um, and, you know, like over and over again, you know, like it was, you know, one of those things where, you know, you, you, you kind of like, you know, start to see it you know, as an opportunity. Today, he sees an opportunity to make a change in a city that gave him a second chance. You know, win, lose, or draw, you know, does for people is, is to help them realize that, like, you know, just because you have a felony, you know, doesn't mean you need to stay in the background and keep your head down, you know, if you, th if you think you have, like, something to offer. Kukleser tells me he learned a lot in prison. He says it even gave him his name, Infinite. He said he didn't pick it, but, quote, it was bestowed on him by fellow inmates while he was serving his first sentence. He tells me they saw something infinite in him. We're live in Burlington tonight. Renee Wonderlich, NBC5 News.